Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to create this landing page parallax scroll animation. Let's get started. Alright, to begin let's go to the description of this video and download the exercise file. Then open it in Figma. Once you open it in Figma, let's go to assets and you will find a full landing page that we are going to animate. Next, let's create a new page inside our exercise file and um, copy this landing page command C and command V and let's copy and paste second time rename this screen one and this screen two all right now for our first transition let's go and reframe the first frame to this head all right so we only need the header and the features block as you can see here we have five basic block but for the first animation screen we need the header and the feature also here and first let's go and make some movement here let's select this three plates and rotate uh, also select the text and the images and move them down this way we create some dynamism once we create the parallax transition and also rotate all those images on the sides like that and move them to the inside Maybe this I will rotate the opposite way. All right. So we're going to make transition from this to that on scroll. Also here for the second screen, I'm going to make some movement of my header block so let's go and animate and move outside like that As a concept, it's really simple to do those kind of animation. And let's keep that exactly as we find it. And select, let's go here on the second screen, select all the block inside and move all the way up until we keep um, this feature block as the first block reframe we need just to show this screen or this feature block also reframe here and make sure it has the same height and now let's go to prototype and connect screen 1 with screen 2 on drag and smart animate gentle and let's make it 3000 millisecond we need a slow transition and also we need to create the opposite so this on drag up we go to that screen and we also need to connect this back so on drag down or the opposite you can go back to that screen all right so let's click let's see how it works so drag 
as you can see push right back we have a nice parallax with animation and movement on our blocks all right let's continue so let's duplicate screen too and let's reveal the next block which is the content block also here let's reveal this block all right like that we just need in that screen to animate this or make some change rotate rotate I think you understood the concept all right and let's reframe like we find it and here we will make the transition out all right like that and rotate the plates real fast rotate Let's to the inside it's taking me sometimes because there is a lot of images but I mean the concept is really simple now let's select all the blocks inside screen 3 header feature content call to action and footer and move them up like that and reframe now let's go to prototype and connect as you can see here I have a node let's remove it and let's connect screen 2 with screen 3 on drag and let's keep everything default smart animate gentle at 3000 millisecond as you can see here we have a two tracks animation that can cause a bug so let's go if I move down it will go up you know so we can be um, you know block it inside a loop of just going up but we need to go down so here let's remove this animation or this interaction remove it and in order to connect to make the leap from this screen to that screen on drag we need to connect not the global frame screen 2 but the inside frame which is features all right so each frame uh, i mean it has only one track connection in order to work all right so here i have connected the features with screen 2 uh, or screen 3 and here screen 2 with screen 1 all right so here screen 2 has a single animation and feature has also single I uh, mean interaction all right let's move down also move down yes it works let's go and connect screen 3 with the previous so we can go back on drag gentle 3000 millisecond let's see move down go back go back it works all right now each time you have to connect the screen to the next and also to the previous you need to connect just one create one interaction inside one frame or it doesn't work to do two interaction in one frame now let's 
move in and duplicate screen for remove this and let's go and reveal those blocks and also this so here in the screen to all three let me make some movement here like that also a slight rotation of those leaves outside and here rotate and maybe move down and also here rotate all right now let's close this screen like that and here let's make some movement like that and move to the outside all right now select everything every plug and move to the top all right something like that let's move that all right now let's go to prototype and here as you can see in screen three we have a single interaction so we don't need to create another one we have to connect this screen with screen four so we don't have a conflict on drag smart animate gentle and here in screen 4 we have no interaction you can use it to connect it with screen 3 all right let's keep it on drag and keep the default smart animate setting now let's play scroll let me like that scroll works again yes scroll back and we have this nice parallel scroll animation of a full landing page working like a charm all right thank you so much for watching this tutorial until the end i hope it was useful and you've learned something new today uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and hopefully i will see you in another video